Hello everybody, it's Wesley from One Lonely Farmer. Just so you know, I'm chipper and cheery today because I've got a barbed repair piece. You know, it's brass, it's like you stick it in, it's like a Chinese finger trap for hoses. These are the best damn things since sliced and bread. You know why? You stick one end in one end of the hose, you stick the other end in the other end of the hose. You take these things, you know what these are called? These are called hose clamps. These are the nice little things that you put over top of this and you clamp it. And you know what it does? It, it, it puts the rubber into the barbs and then the barbs it won't let loose and boom, you don't have any problems. So when you're driving your machine, this great big ugly thing, it's called a case because I can't afford something else. It's WD2303 and the air conditioner breaks. So when the air conditioner breaks, you can't open the door to let some air in there because guess what? It shuts the machine down, causes big problems like you can't move, can't work. Gets to 130 degrees, this guy has a heat stroke, almost dies, has to go home. So we're gonna fix this thing today. So stay tuned as I've already cut the ends off because you know what, I'm awesome. I use this nice little awesome cutter thingy, dude. I've had a lot of coffee and Timothy's just so happy he could shit bricks of gold. Anyway, we're gonna take some grease not really. We're going to take some nothing. We're going to stick these hose clamps on there and we're going to shove this thing in that hole and we're going to tighten it down. We're going to tighten it down so tight that its mother screams, please stop! And then, and then everybody, we will have air conditioning again until Joe breaks it. That's how it's going to go. So here so we you want to do this without cutting the shit out of your hands, you get a piece of wood. Because this brass stuff, that can be sharp. If you stick your hand on there and go like this, boom, you've got a plug out of your skin. So you take this thing here, put a little lubricant on it, don't put too much on, but then you hold it with one hand and then you start shoving. And then you start cursing because the son of a bitch don't want to go on, right? Oh, oh yeah, that's how it's done. Oh. And then you start cursing at the kid because he shouldn't have broke the damn thing in the first place, right? I got into it broke. No, you didn't. You got into it and then it broke. No. <laughs> So the last couple days the AC's kind of been in and out. Oh my god! Okay, so I'm going to start cursing and swearing and I'm not going to be so chipper anymore so let's shut the camera off and we'll get back to it when it's all done. I was born ready. We ready? We're ready. Are we running? We're rolling. We're rolling. Okay, so this is for all my Al Gore loving, uh, environmental overactive, underachieving, libtarded rejects. I am going to do something that's going to piss you all off. All right, so I have opened that line, yeah, this line, this guy right here, and that introduces oxygen and moisture and all sorts of other shit. So what I've done, come on over here, George, Joe, George, what's your fucking name? Uh, Kyle. Kyle, okay, Kyle. Hey, Kyle, um, so I want you to tell me when you hear a bunch of air hissing out of that thing. Okay, dog. It's not going to be air, it's going to be chlorofluorocarbons. Ready? Yeah. You hear anything? Not out of here. No? Not yet. How about now? Not yet. Really? Are you putting it in the right hose? There's only one hose to put it in. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think I hear stuff. Yeah, no, it's there. So what you do is you gotta force the oxygen and moisture out because I don't have all the proper tools to do this job. So now, get on the phone and call your local EPA office and report me, because that's what I want. 1-800-EAT-SHIT, that's what it's called. So, now, I have got this air conditioner pretty much fixed. So, it's all hooked up, I got everything tightened, I've put my little bayonet coupler. Yes, I remember the bayonet coupler. That's what they call that thing. I couldn't get it all the way on there, so the chances of it blowing off are pretty darn good. Dumping all my R134A into the atmosphere, which we love so much. So, Joe, start up this diesel exhaust spewing machine, and let's get some AC going. Make sure you turn the air conditioner on high. And we're going to charge the boy. La, 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 la. Not without putting oil in it first, because it leaked out. So we're going to put two cans of oil in there. And we're going to put the oil in there. Uh-oh. That's trying to go in. And low, too low. There you look. These things are awesome, by the way. I'm going to shut this off, and I'm going to get you going when we're fully charged. breakfast. 
Alright, on a nice lighter note, if you don't know what one of these is, Keep oh, he's getting married. Yeah, Mr. Hose Clamp. She'll put a clamp on your hose. Anyway, yeah, these things are pretty awesome. They're uh, reusable, they have the gauge in them already. So, what you do is if you got a big can like this, because I'm a licensed certified technician for R134A refrigeration, heating, and cooling. replace your hose or your caps if you don't do that it will leak out just so you know close her up nice I use window cleaner to detect for leaks I know there's some other people that use other things I use window cleaner and you just shoot it on there the high pressure line it's gonna be pretty warm it's actually not warm at all so things are going good and uh, yeah so I had that apart just kind of do this you see leaks then you know you got a problem you don't see any bubbles then you don't and you're good so I'm not seeing any bubbles anywhere and uh, yeah so we're gonna call this an afro engineer job well done okay all right I hope you enjoyed this segment of this old piece of case and uh, yeah I'll see you when I'm working on a John Deere which never happened